What is going on everybody, Reverend Saint back again with some more highly opinionated condescending statements over some Call of Duty gameplay today. Basically what we're going to be talking about today is advanced warfare and the ignorance of fanboys. Yeah, I'm going there today man, you guys better buckle your seatbelt cause we're going in! But first, let me talk about this gameplay real quick, like, it is on Newtown, it is in a game type domination, and I go half hand bony. I don't know, I don't go crazy off the off the chain like my last gameplay where I was 64 and 1, had the nuclear, had the 47 gun streak, some crap like that. I don't go that big, but I do go pretty big, especially for Newtown. I died nine times, kind of kind of a higher number uh, for my usual gameplays on this channel, but it's Newtown. You can kind of expect that. And Newtown's also like the most overplayed map of all freaking time, period, ever, gaming history, histories, history, ever, histories, in. Kind of a lot of words in that sentence that weren't really in the right places, but uh, I'm pretty sure you guys get the point that this game is, this map, sorry, is overplayed like crazy and it drives me nuts. But nonetheless, this gameplay is pretty good, so I hope you guys enjoy watching that in the background today. Let's get into the topic. People are freaking out about advanced warfare. Why? I don't know. I have to cough because my allergies are killing me. So give me a second. <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. Normally, I would wait till I don't have to cough and then just, you know, redo the whole thing. But it's going to happen throughout this entire thing because my allergies have been killing me a lot lately. And if you hear this, that's because it's my papers with my topics on them because I'm trying a new thing out here. Hopefully, to keep myself at a nice, even pace like I'm talking about right now. So, we're going to go ahead and get down into this. Basically, the people are freaking out. They're like, oh my god, they got all this futuristic stuff. First off, the demo of e at E3 was of the campaign. All right? And people are like freaking out. Like, oh my god, the exoskeletons and the double jumps and the super strength and all this crap is too freaking much. And, oh my god, they're going to ruin the series. They're going to ruin the game. I'm never buying Call of Duty ever again. It's going to be terrible. And to that, I say, shut up. If you cannot tell, I am a little bit emotional about this. I feel like I am attached a little bit because it's the internet. I'm on the internet all the time. It's my game series that I post primarily on my channel. Or the primary game that I post on my channel. Stop freaking out about it. They have not actually revealed the multiplayer just yet. There's no freaking reason to flip out about all this crap. Now... To be clear, they have actually said, at least I saw this in a tweet, that a lot of the gadgets and stuff like that in the campaign will be in the multiplayer. But they stress, like seriously stress, that it will not be overpowered. And I actually believe this. Why? Normally I wouldn't. But why do I believe this? Because a couple weeks ago, before E3, I have to cough again. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> anyway, before E3... I saw some tweets from some pros. I saw some, or I heard some comments on some streams from some pros that Advanced Warfare is going to be thick. And one of them just randomly happened to be happen, or happened to be happened to be happen, to be wearing an Advanced Warfare T-shirt. Where the crap did he get it? Did they just randomly send it to him, or was there a reason behind it? I think they contacted the pros, brought them down because there was a tweet from Mr. Rambo Ray, who was all that like, Advanced Warfare is going to be the shizzle. It's going to be great. He didn't actually say that, but he's he was basically praising. He couldn't wait for the game to come out. He's super excited about it. Why? I'm pretty sure they got invited down to take part in the dev cycle. Why? Because they want, they're embracing esports. That's why, you dummy. Unlike Infinity Ward, who waited until like the day before the freaking game came out to actually ask people for advice on that crap, they're doing it way earlier. So they're actually going to have features ready at launch, unlike Ghosts. If you guys remember, none of the freaking esports features were ready at launch for Ghosts, and it was a terrible start. Now, they have gotten better, we'll, we will cover that here in a second, uh, but nonetheless, they weren't ready and it kind of sucked, so I found this tweet, I, if, if I can find it, actually, I saw the tweet from Rambo, if I can find it again, I will put it up on the screen, if not, it's not going to be there, so if it's there, I found it, if it's not there, then I didn't find it, I apologize, but nonetheless, it leads me to believe that they've learned from Infinity Awards mistakes, they're embracing it much earlier, which means there's going to be a little bit better balancing, I think, at the beginning of the game, and also, they're going to have all these features like broadcaster mode, they're probably going to have esports rules, and possibly <coughs> Woo, sorry about that. Possibly, my speculation, this is just my prediction, skill-based matchmaking league play. Yes, skill-based. As I crumple that paper up, which I might need again if I mess this up. <laughs> skill-based league play like in Black Ops 2. Because let's face it, Clan v Clan was a gimmick. Now, I'm not bashing Infinity Ward for that fact. 
I'm actually praising them because they actually listen to the community for once. And honestly, they have turned the game around. The game was hor made me want to puke <laughs> at launch. Every time I think about it, I gag and stuff. It was terrible at launch. It was horrible. It was the worst Call of Duty I ever played at launch. Which is saying a lot because I hated Modern Warfare 2. I hated Modern Warfare 3 with passion. And I hated this at launch. Now it's actually pretty good. I mean, I still play it. I don't know if you guys still do. If you do, if you don't, I recommend giving it another shot. Get used to the new fast deaths. But other than that, they they made it a lot better. They bounce a lot better and stuff like that. So I praise them for that. And they're trying to make it more fun like Black Ops 2 because it doesn't have that fun factor at all. Uh, Black Ops 2 had the bright colors and the lighter tones and kind of the goofiness, a little bit of goofiness thrown in there. That just kind of made it more fun. Ghost does not have that at all. But they're trying to bring that in with like these new announcer voices with Snoop Dogg and Early Ermy, who's the dude at the beginning of Full Metal Jacket who yells at everybody. It's freaking hilarious. Have you guys ever seen that movie? Or just look up that scene. It's freaking hilarious. Uh, lots of language for our younger audience out there. So be mindful, youngins. But nonetheless, it's still cool, and they're trying to bring that fun factor back into it. Even with, like, uh, the kill new kill streaks, I have to cough. <coughs> Man, that sucks. <coughs> <coughs> Woo, that was a doozy. Anyway, the new kill streaks are bringing in, like, freaking Predator and, and, and Michael Myers and what's the new one? The Departed one and the maps as well. They're kind of doing some kind of crazy themes for maps, like the Mutiny, the new one. I absolutely love this map. It's a freaking pirate ship. I love pirates, dude. I'm a huge pirate fan. I freaking love that, and it's great. Uh, but <clears throat> that that's, that kind of leaves a question, though. Is the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, that is, gonna have that fun factor like Black Ops 2 did. Now, after watching the E3 demo, I'd say yes and no. Yes, because of all the new features, the double jumps and stuff like that, they just look like fun. It might not be smart. It might not be like well, the most easiest thing to balance in a multiplayer competitive multiplayer game, but it looks like a ton of freaking fun. That's what freaking matters to me. That's what I want. I want a fun Call of Duty. If it's not going to be super competitive, that's fine. Ghost, actually, I feel like Ghost became overly competitive. That's how I feel. Black Ops 2 did not. It kind of had, you know, rank-based uh, matchmaking for League Play for those who really wanted to be super competitive, which I do like going to that part. Excuse me, every once in a while when I get teammates who are, like, around my same skill level. And unlike Clan v Clan, you don't get that. But nonetheless... I'm really excited. I think it's going to have that fun factor, guys. Just the double jumps, the strength, and just some of the cool cool gadgets that you saw. It just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm really excited. Not to mention the crazy graphs. Oh my freaking god. It looks awesome, guys. It really does. Graphically, it looks amazing. Best looking cut to date. If you haven't seen the gameplay, I'll link it down below. But that's just my opinion, guys. I want to know your guys' opinion. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it's going to be fun like Black Ops 2? Or do you think it's going to be more on the dark side like in Call of Duty Goose? I want to know your opinion. So leave your comments and opinions down below. And let's keep it simple, guys. Because that's the internet. And we should always watch what we say. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like and favorite button. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys later. See ya, suckers!